Ellie Dave J. Davies says, so and so is so peng, I want him. Is so peng, I want him. What's James McAvoy? Me? Yeah, God is so weird. That's not hard. Little Pikachu emoji says, Blank is my second daddy, with the emoji that's like, what? My second daddy, Bruce Willis. Sam? Yeah, baby. James is getting too much attention here. Dandy Pandy, with loads of unicorny rainbow emoji, says, so and so is just adorable. Anya Taylor Joy. It wouldn't be James again, would it be? Bruce is adorable? He's dangerous. Oh, Bruce, he is adorable. Fion, double N, Fion -n -n -n, says, so and so is a freaking goddess, Sarah Paulson. Blank is a freaking goddess, me. Oh, I forgot about that. Blank is coming for the award season 2020 and 2021, just you wait. Henry Higgins, just you wait. <laughs> sorry. Be sorry, but it'll be too late. You'll be broke and I'll have money. Sorry. Um, ha ha ha. Sorry, that's from a musical uh, called My Fair Lady. I'm not a singer, you guys. Uh, James. Just you wait. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Sarah! Me? Ha ha ha! Emery Higgins! Not the ordinary type says so and so is the most beautiful man in the history of mans. Um, Bruce. James. Fuck, darling, thanks a lot. I mean, come on. Blank is iconic and that bitch. Me. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, I mean, come on. Just kidding. I was just joking. Totally serious. Coolest guy in the world, hashtag blank. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, it's got to be. He is the coolest guy in the world. Uh, I don't know who it is that sent that in, but he is the coolest guy in the world. I'm good at this game. Anne Helen Wickeser says, why, how, so-and-so is just so damn sexy. Uh, Anya Taylor-Joy. Who's James? Bruce? So I got one wrong and that, great, thanks for taking that back. Sophie Giraffe says, can we just take a moment to appreciate how great an actor so-and-so is? Great of an actor blank is, like seriously. Like seriously? James. Ah, oh, it's very hard to, even if you think it's you, to say it's you. Tan, or Tanya, star, says, uh, so-and-so is my mother. Uh, Betty Buckley. No, it's Sarah Paulson. Blank is my mother. Me. Also not hard. Wouldn't that be great though if she just was your mother and you were just texting that? And I'm like, Elizabeth Johnston is my mother. I just, with no T, want to kiss blank. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Bruce Willis. Bruce? Oh, I should have got that because I'm in her picture. <laughs> so and so is literally the most powerful woman on this planet. Sarah Paulson. Anya Taylor Joy. Well, that's Anya. Oh! Okay, I almost said me, but I decided to go with Anya just to not seem like a total nut. Patrick, no offense, but I'm so happy so and so is finally getting recognition for being the best actor in the entire world. Uh, Samuel Jackson. The best actor in the entire world, James. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. A blank is an angel, devil, she is God. That's me. Sarah Paulson. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I, my sister wrote this. I'm just kidding. Right, K, 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 V, B, B, V. It says, so-and-so is one of the most talented actresses of this decade, bye. This decade, bye, Anya. Uh, that's Sarah Paulson. Yep, she really is. Thanks. Whatever your name is. Walking into set with Bruce and Sam, sitting in that big pink room for a big, huge joint therapy session scene, and just going, oh, man, that's Bruce Willis, that's Samuel L. Jackson, this is nuts. And then I'm sitting in the middle of them going, all right, better act my socks off, Jesus Christ. Action, you're like, okay. I remember crawling underneath Sam's chair 
on my back and like thrusting out between his legs. I don't know if you remember that, but I did that. I don't know if it was funny, but my most memorable moment from filming was shooting a scene with James McAvoy where he played, I think maybe six characters in four and a half minutes and I was supposed to act like it was no big deal. And really the actress in me was just like, how the F is he doing this? It was, I think, you know, I get to count myself as one of like the luckier people in the world, in the acting world anyway, to say that I got to see that front and center, him looking right here, doing all that stuff. Well, each take was better than the next and some of them were different, but I mean, he did, it was just, it was really one of those moments where you're like, you are irritating because you are too talented. So many, there are just so many. We all had way too much fun on set. Like it was difficult getting us to do stuff because we were all just enjoying each other and we all had the same sense of humor. I think it would be Sam in a wheelchair in the rain and the profanities that come out of his mouth when he's like in the rain for too long. <laughs> that was that was a definite favorite moment of mine. It was just watching Sam be super sassy because nobody does it better. You quickly realize that that's not just a, a, um, a camera catchphrase. That's very much a Sam catchphrase. And it made me feel, I've always thought I had quite a filthy mouth and um, after spending time with Sam and Sarah, and Sarah was just doing it to spite him. I'm, I'm a saint, I'm a total saint. And most of our pranking was just verbal jibes. Like it was, there was never a second that you could let up. Everyone was always consistently kind of just like trying to best one another through language, uh, which was so much fun. But yeah, like at four o'clock in the morning, you're like, okay, have to be on, have to be ready, have to be ready to respond. All of the new characters are really fun to watch, but I'll always go back to Hedwig. Like Hedwig was just the character that I and Casey vibed with the most. Like the second he starts speaking that way, I'm just like, oh, babe. Um, so I think getting to, getting to talk to him again is pretty special. No, he didn't show me how to do any. And I think he respects, uh, the the veracity of each one in such a way that I didn't want to be like, do that one for me. Cause you know, for him they're they're real people. Yeah. I like them all. I like Clappy Von Clappy Hands. I like her. I'm really good at mimicking, but when someone's doing like 23 different voices at you, I'm just like, just focus on staying in your one accent because otherwise it's gonna get really, really messed up. Um, no, I just I, I just love watching him. There's a lot of um there's a lot of love between the two of us when we're doing scenes like that, so it's just it's just fun to, to watch the other person do their thing. A lot of the characters just came naturally, and I was like, oh, that's Patricia, and she'll be like that, and Hedwig's like that. And For characters we weren't 100% sure with, I basically just auditioned different types of people tonight that I thought might be appropriate for what that character had to do in terms of its objective. There was quite a few that got ejected. There was a sort of posh... Indian guy that I went for. Kind of Oxbridge educated, but like born in Mumbai kind of guy that I thought was really interesting, but night being uh, an Indian American was just like, mm, I don't think that's very good. I was like, all right, man, fine, I'm ejecting that. So that was one of many that got thrown out. Sometimes, yeah, but like, you know, Patricia's easy. Uh, Dennis was easy. Uh, Hedwig was easy. The guys that I played for a long time were easy. The guys that I played just for a couple of scenes here and there, they were difficult. And Barry was difficult actually as well. A lot of people, if they want to put on a lot of muscle and get truly get bigger, not just get like in good shape and get ripped, but actually get bigger, they go like, got to eat a lot of protein. Got to eat a lot of protein. It's not true. You do need to eat a lot of protein, but you got to eat a lot of carbs. And I didn't know that. Maybe lots of people out there go like, yeah, duh, James. But I think there's a lot of people killing themselves in the gym eating double steak and double chicken duty and not realizing you've got to eat a lot of clean carbs as well. So that's my big tip. If you want to get bigger and put on muscle, you got to lift hard, you got to eat protein, but you got to eat a lot of clean carbs as well. He has a wonderful trainer called Magnus who was just completely adopted by all of us. Like we all adore Magnus. But it's just fun having a conversation with James whilst he's doing push-ups. Like you're just trying to get, like you're, you're trying to continue on a normal conversation, but he's just having to like beef up all the time. Um, his commitment to that was crazy. You know, I could just show up and do that, but he had to, every single day, he had to go back to the gym, had to wake up really early. Like he, if he was committed in Split, he's doubly as committed in this movie. He was dedicated for sure. And you just have Magnus, like this little gentle giant sitting in the back, being like, nah, James, five more. <laughs> this is intense. I want Ellie to get a haircut. She needs a haircut. I don't know if it's necessarily been left open for potential sequels. I prefer just a movie that is left open anyway, so that you go into the, you know, you walk away from the cinema not going like, oh, we're going to have cheeseburgers. Like you walk away going like, wow, so maybe that could happen or maybe this happened. I think that's why it's been left open. I don't think he's going to do sequels. I think he's done two already. He's probably tired of it by now. I'd quite like to introduce a character who thinks he's a model. And so he's always, but he's always posing and he's always like, mm. he's always like, 
giving it a little bit of blue steel. That would be kind of fun. Just somebody really right wing and minging that you can make fun of. That'd be great. I just wanted to continue on the trajectory that she's going on. I think she's, you know, she's been through a lot. I think she deserves a bit of happiness and the empowerment that she's found now. And yeah, I just, I hope that she continues going along the path of self-love and, and understanding of her own strength. Okay, like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Evil to play is really fun. It's a bit intense in your own head, but um, it, it is really, really fun to do but not for Casey. I've got too much love for her. I just want her to be happy, <laughs> like genuinely. I think I think that girl deserves a break. Um, so I'd rather play domestic and happy with her and then leave the evil for the rest of them. I think just having people meet my character, I, I've had so much fun with Ileana and she's mental, like properly mental. And that's just, it, I, I don't know. I, I'm excited for people to meet her and kind of see what this aggro, crazy Russian woman is like. I think they'll enjoy her. <laughs> I hope they'll enjoy her. I kind of have taken on the beast and he'd sort of be the person that I'd pick. So I've kind of done that. Uh, so. <laughs> Rules are different. And that's my favorite thing about movie making in terms of the realms of the fantastical is that there still has to be rules to the magic to make it all work. Um, so the, the rules of magic are very different in X-Men than they are in Glass. Glass is very much supposing that this is real world, real people, and I think that's what makes it a different kind of superhero movie. Get my knickers scared off, because it's a scary thing. Um, yeah, it, wouldn't, it wasn't nice all the time, <laughs> it was really scary. So yeah, hopefully getting to enjoy it as an audience member instead of like just actually being in a lot of those like really disturbing scenarios uh, as an actor, like we all were. There's quite a few moments where me and like most of the cast would be like, can you believe we're doing this? This is insane. This is like intense. Um, so not all, because usually something crazy is happening and we're all like, oh wow, this is awesome. Action, let's go for it. But we were like, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Uh, so just getting to watch it from as an outside party will be nice.